Hello, Cliff here again. No bees this time. Today I'm going to do something that I do at home, and that's make real fresh butter. Um, so first of all, I've washed my hands, they're nice and clean, and I've got a bowl of ice cold water. I've got a pestle and mortar here, and the only reason I've got that is I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt in the butter. Um, and I'm going to grind the salt with a pestle and mortar to make it a dusty salt. That's so you don't feel the crunch when you eat the actual butter. I've got a hand blender, and the hand blender uh, is needed really, or the hand mixer is needed to speed things up. So I'm going to start now. Bye. Double cream, must be dairy double cream. You can't use an alternative like Ellen Lee. That wouldn't be suitable. So there's a double cream going into the bowl. And we're just going to mix it. Just like you want to mix it, you're going to make a cream cake. But something special happens. Well, I'm going to speed this up, I think, probably. As you know, when you mix cream, it starts to get firmer. And then if you're making a cream cake, that's the cream that you put in, isn't it? It has like soft peaks to it. And you can um, get a bite out of the cream cake with that, rather than pour it over. So we're taking this to that point. I'm just going to show you the cream is now starting, starting to thick up. So I'm going to keep going and watch. Now the cream is similar to what you would put onto a cream cake if you wanted to make a, say, a Victoria sandwich. But we keep going. And again, I'll just show you this. So we're now going to go beyond the point that you would normally use it for a cream cake. See, it's almost looking like breadcrumbs, but we keep going. I'm just going to show you now. Can you see the liquid that's become starting to appear in this? This is buttermilk. So we keep going. Now I'm just going to uh, pour some of this uh, buttermilk off and carry on. And pour some more off. Now it doesn't look uh, like there's much more buttermilk there, I've poured quite a lot away. So this is where the next stage comes in, this is ice cold water. Now obviously if we were making, uh, if you take butter out of the fridge and you hold it in your hand it melts. So the ice cold water is to stop the butter from melting when we do the next stage. So we're going to take the butter out and put it in the ice cold water. And we knead it. So we're going to knead it slowly under the water and some of the remaining buttermilk will come out of, of the butter because it's not quite butter yet but we're getting there so we have to keep kneading it and the water's getting cloudy and in a few moments we'll clear some of this water away put some fresh water in and carry on doing the kneading and then hopefully 
to get to a point where the water stays clear. And looks like butter, doesn't it? So this is the buttermilk, it's the remaining buttermilk that's coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that little bit of water away into this bowl. It's important that we get rid of as much of the buttermilk as possible because that will stop the, the butter from going off. So adding a little bit of salt actually helps the butter keep as well. Um, but it's safe, it should be safe for a couple of weeks. Um, you, could, you can see it's quite a big piece of butter this, so you could probably um, do it with a small carton if you want to experiment with it. Now this water's not as cloudy as before, so we know we're getting rid of more buttermilk. So I shall just transfer that over again. Alright, some more fresh water. Fairly safe to say the water is staying quite clean now. Right? It might take you three or four changes to get it right. It's always what you're looking for is the water to be clear. Or very, pretty much clear. I think we can say we've done that. So you can see this is butter. And all we need to do now, if we want to, is add some salt and uh, to the process, we can do that. We can spread it out. And then we've got the salt that we made earlier. We're just going to pop a little bit of salt in there. And then it in. And then obviously um, it's starting to warm up now so it's going to have to go into the fridge and then it will become a solid block of butter. So just to remind you we need to get rid of as much of the buttermilk as is possible. 
making the water nice and clear when you do the kneading. Make sure you've got ice cubes in there. Good. Got some butter. Oh, guess what else I brought? A nice piece of homemade bread. Have you ever forgotten to say something? Well, I did. Right, when we were pouring out the buttermilk, if you keep that buttermilk to one side, it has something called enzymes in it. And you can soak things like fresh chicken, and it'll make the chicken really tender. That's how uh, KFC actually. Uh, do the chicken, they have a buttermilk uh, to start with. So that's another side to the butter that you've made. You've got the buttermilk waste, keep it safe, put some say chicken breasts in it, leave it there overnight, tender chicken. Okay.